Arjun. I am nine years old and I represent Team Warrior Hero. I feel so happy to participate in my first ever Code Ever 2020, the biggest international AI and ML coding competition. I am really interested in AI and ML and can't wait to see how the world will develop using these concepts. Coding is something I really love doing. and when i came across this competition i was really excited about it i also learned about pictoblocks through this competition pictoblocks provides advanced things like face recognition tracing human body parts training models and classifying objects and also connecting with various boards like ai and arduino uno now i'm going to explain my project the automatic composting robot my picto green buddy but wait what is composting how should we compost why is composting so important as a part of sustainable development it is every individual's responsibility to compost the waste for the betterment of our world composting the waste helps avoid emission of poisonous greenhouse gas and keeps a green healthy clean environment India is a country with 1.3 billion people. 62 million tons of trash is generated every year. Out of this, 70 to 75 percent of the trash remains untreated. But 40 to 50 percent of the trash is actually wet waste that is organic in nature and can easily decompose. A family of four can reduce their waste from 1,000 kgs to less than 100 kgs every year by composting. Composting helps enrich the soil and makes the soil nitrogen rich. So this explains why composting is very important. But why do people not compost? Well, many people don't know how to compost and what to compost. Using picture blocks, I have developed a robot, an automatic composting robot called Picto Green Buddy. This helps in scanning your waste and tell if it can be composted or not. Once the waste is allowed inside, Picto Green Buddy automatically covers the waste with a layer of soil or cocoa pit. This helps in decomposing the waste. After this is done, your compost is ready in 15 to 45 days, depending on the waste material you use. This robot is a prototype and can be fully enhanced to add all the features of an automatic compost machine using Picto Blocks feature. Picto Green Buddy is the magic wand to transform garbage into a beautiful green healthy garden. So now isn't it easy to compost your waste using Picto Green Buddy? We are the future citizens of our country and it is our responsibility to use AI and ML in the right way and help towards sustainable development. This is my Picto Green Buddy. As you can see there are two LEDs, a green one and a red one. When we scan our waste and if a green LED glows it means that the waste can be composted hence the main lid will open and then the user is allowed to put the waste in over here after that happens picto green buddy automatically releases soil from this second container if the waste cannot be composted the red led will glow and the main lid will remain closed so now let's look at a demo this is the waste i would like to compost so i'm just going to click on the flag hello i am your picto green buddy scan your waste and see if it can be turned into treasure if it can be composted the green led glows and the lid opens if it cannot be composted the red led glows and the lid remains closed so now we are going to i'm going to show the waste composting your green waste thank you <laughs> Now I'm going to put the waste to the side. And after some time, pick the green body automatically releases the soil. Now I 
I'll explain how I built this prototype. As you can see, there are two LEDs, a main LED and a second container LED. Both the LEDs needs open and closing function, so they both have servo motors. Now I will explain the connections. So this is the first servo shield, the second one is inside and both of them are connected to the servo sh shield which is connected to the Arduino Uno. I have used two LEDs over here which come from the back and are connected to the 7 and 8 pin. I have used the extension as in connecting male and female wires to make the wire lengthy and reach over here. So now this is the board. As you can see over here, there are three sprites. The first one, which is Toby, does the all the main functions. The, the next one is the slide animation, which is the intro. And the second Toby is the one who comes and speaks and tells all the instructions. So now if we go to the main Toby, when we receive the start message, we are turning on the video and then we are setting the servo 11 on 70 angle. So basically this robo needs two servos. The servos are needed for opening and closing the lid. First we are setting the 11th servo. So the 11th servo is basically the main lid and that is 70 angle. 70's angle is always the 11th servo's closed position. The same goes for the other servo which is the second container and zero is its closed position. Now in the forever loop, there's an if else statement. Over here we're telling if this is identified from webcam or what now can be composed there is in this. This is a really big list so I don't want to go through it. And if this is true, this particular ex function executes. If it's false, this executes. So now what we're doing here is these two statements are LED st uh, functions. So the eighth LED is the red LED and the seventh LED is a green LED. So if it is true, the green LED should glow and the red LED should not glow. So low means it is off and high means it is on. So after this happens, once the green LED glows, we are waiting one second and then we are speaking this particular message. And after that, we are setting the servo 11th pin to 180 angle. Over here, we set it to 70 angle. Now we are setting it to 180 angle. So uh, the reason we are setting to 180 angle is for it to open. So 180 angle is its open position. Then after that, we are waiting for 10 seconds. And then for the second container, we are making it 60. Over here, we made 0. Now we are making it 60. 60 is its open position. After that, we are made uh, waiting one second. And then we are setting it back to its closed position. And then after five seconds, we are setting the main servo back to its closed position. If this particular R statement isn't executed, meaning it is not true, then this particular is executes. So if we show something like plastic, this doesn't be true. So then the red LED will glow and the green LED will be low. So this is the code. And also we had to hide the Toby because there's another Toby over here. 